ABCD is a rectangle with A10, 0 and B06. Find the coordinates of C. Find the equation of AD and the area of the rectangle ABCD. So before you do this problem, what you should try to do is maybe brainstorm everything you know about coordinate geometry. Okay, then the next thing would be to do is to make a copy of the diagram and annotate where appropriate. So there's my diagram. So I need to mark on the coordinates of A and B. So B is 0, 06, and then A is 10, 0. Now, in the first part, I'm asked to find the coordinates of this point here, C. So this is where this line here cuts the x-axis. So if I can find the equation of this line, and if lines have form y is equal to mx plus uh, c, straight lines, and then I've got c already, which is 6. So if I can find its gradient, then I've got the equation of the line. But I can also find the gradient of uh, AB, and M stands for the gradient. So the gradient of MB, if we draw some lines in, so draw that line and draw that line there, then this distance here is 10, and this distance here we go down 6, so we write down minus 6. So the, and the gradient is the change in Y divided by the change in X. So it's going to be minus 6 over 10. Now we should just simplify that, so it becomes minus 3 over 5. So my line is going to be of the form y is equal to minus 3 over 5x. Sorry, beg your pardon. That's this line. All right, but we want the one which is perpendicular to this one. So there is a rule for perpendicular lines. Now, can you remember what that is? So the gradient of this line will actually be 5 over 3. And the rule is if you multiply that gradient with this gradient, i.e. The, the gradient of two perpendicular lines, the answer is always minus 1. And therefore, the equation of this line is going to be y is equal to mx plus c, so y, c is 6, so y is equal to minus 5 over 3x plus 6. Now, I wasn't asked to find the equation of this line. I want to find the coordinates of this point here. Now, at this particular point here, the y-coordinate is equal to zero on this at this particular point. So if I put y is equal to zero and then solve that equation, so we've got zero, zero is equal to five over three x plus six. So five over three x is equal to minus six, and therefore five x is equal to minus eighteen, and then dividing through by five, x is equal to minus three point six okay so the coordinates are minus three point six zero because the question said find the coordinates not what the x value is so make sure you write down your answer as to what the question actually says right the next part so we'll just write down everything we now know so we know this point this point this point we don't need this bit for finding the equation of ad so we need us now to find the equation of this line here. What would be the equation of this line? Well, this line and this line are parallel. So it will be of the form y is equal to 5 over 3x plus c. And c will obviously be where it cuts the y-axis somewhere down here. So it's going to c will be negative. So we can like sort of work out that the answer is going to be uh, uh, negative. So, how are we going to do that? Well, the equation of the is of this form y is equal to 5 over 3x plus c. But we know the, this line goes through the point 10, 0. So when x is 10, y is 0. So, the line passes through the point 10, 0. So, put 0 is equal to 5 over 3 times 10 plus c. So, 0 will be 50 over 3 plus c. And therefore, c will be minus 50 over 3. So we did say it will be negative down here somewhere, which seems about right. So the required line is y is equal to 5 over 3x minus 50 over 3. Now, you could write that down as the final answer, and it would be correct, because we were not actually asked for a particular format. But another format is to multiply that through by 3. So you get 3y is equal to 5x minus 50, and then take the 3y over to here, so you get 5x minus 3y minus 50 is equal to 0. So either of those would be correct, 
Uh, you're not stipulated in the question on how to write down your answer, but you should be wary about that when problem solving. Right, the final part, so we'll now write down everything we know, is to find the area of this rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is going to be this length times this length. So if we use uh, this length here is 10 and this is minus 6, and this length here is 6, and this is 3.6. You get it from 6 from the 6 coordinate here, and 3.6 from this distance here. And this is 10 from the x coordinate here, and minus 6 from this coordinate here. And then if we use Pythagoras' theorem on each bit, so we're going to now find this length here using the Pythagoras' theorem. So this means the length of A, B. This is what these two lines mean. So it's going to be the square root of 10 squared uh, plus minus 6 squared, which is equal to the square root of 136. This is called a third, which you're going to do a bit later on. Okay, and then you've got the magnitude of BC, which is this length line, this line here, which is going to be the square root of 3.6 squared plus 6 squared, which gives you the square root of 48.96. And then the area of the rectangle is going to be this length times this length, which gives you the square root of 136 times the square root of 48.96, which gives you an answer of 81.6 square units. Okay, now you can verify your answers using this GeoGebra app, and I'll put the link to the GeoGebra app in the video, but just to take a quick look at it. Okay, so here is the GeoGebra app. So we've got the area there. We've got the equation of this line here. We've got that point there, minus 3.6. Now, an extension to the problem would be, could try and find the coordinates of D. Well, if you've got this line here, and you could find this line here, you could solve them simultaneously to find this point, 6.4 minus 6. You might want to try that for yourselves as an extension to this problem. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to do problem solving using uh, coordinate geometry. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching. The GeoGebra app I will put in the notes of the video. Thank you very much.